Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 162. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> I'm proud of the person you've become. Rashta. My daughter. I totally forgot that we left it off here. How dare you show your face here! I heard my daughter was doing well, so of course I had to come see for myself. Uh, and you didn't think to do that when I was miserable? Now, now, don't get too angry. He never once celebrated my birthday. And he barely even called my name. He always blamed his lowborn status for everything before abandoning me altogether. <sighs> and now he wants me to welcome him back as my father? There was a time in my life when I missed him. Because as lousy as he was, he was still family. But I don't need him anymore. Get out. And don't ever seek me out again. Don't you dare hold me back. You abandoned me to live with a choice you made. I'm better off without you. Uh, hmm. Rashta. Do you happen to know a man who's tall and handsome? That could be anyone. He has blonde hair the color of barley and green eyes. And he wears his coat on his shoulders. Dun -dun. What about him? It's him. That's who's told me where you were. I was curious where you were going with this, but it's clearly not worth listening to. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Rasta. I shouldn't say anything about the man you adore. Uh. <laughs> the truth is, daughter of mine, I wanted to establish my own merchant group. How are you going to do that as a slave? Don't worry. I paid the fine after saving up, and now I'm not a slave anymore. Uh, you became free without me? But what about me? I suffered my whole life because of you. What about me? If only I had become free before I became a mistress. Then I wouldn't have had to go through the effort of creating a fake set of parents or lying about my background. I wouldn't have to be afraid that I'll be found out. But then he has the nerve to tell me that he bought only himself out of slavery? Oh, I was going to do the same for you. But when I went to visit, went to go visit you so that you were living up living a pleasant, cozy life with the Viscount's son. So I assumed that his family would free you. Besides, the Viscount has more money than me. I'm done listening to your nonsense! Don't expect a single coin from me. Go establish your merchant group or whatever you wish, but leave me out of it! You're an awful daughter. You abandon your own father? It's like, what? 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 It's all thanks to me that you became an empress. You couldn't have done it without the beautiful face I passed down to you. It's a child's duty to care for their parents. <laughs> If you forsake me, 
I'll tell the whole world that an ungrateful child you are. <laughs> the Remarried Empress, episode 162. This father has a lot of nerve. Like, I'm kind of, I'm, I feel bad for Rashida here. Like, she got abandoned as a child. And her father was so selfish and only freed himself. It, he makes, he makes a lot of excuses. But then he expects her to take care of him, even though he abandoned her. Seems relatable because it happened to someone I know close to me. Their father never took care of them and... Now that he's old, he expects this child to take care of him now that he's old. And I was just like, yeah. Anyways. <sighs> a few days after my real father's visit. An article was published in the newspaper that claimed Empress Rashida was originally a slave and her noble parents were actually fake. The person who wrote it was... You again. Do you have a grudge against me? Of course not, your majesty. I was willing to overlook the other article because you're free to write whatever you wish. But this crosses the line, doesn't it? You wrote about me before, so you must know how much I suffered emotionally because of my family history. How could you do such a thing? Uh. As a journalist, I had the responsibility to present a variety of opinions. <sighs> I made it clear in my article that the claims were someone's assertions. That's all it took to publish that? Would you write an article if, say, a child living next door claimed he was an emperor's illegitimate son? It would depend on what exactly was being said person claiming to be your majesty's father said some very convincing things. Of course he did. Because he's, sw he's a swindler. The truth always wins out in the end, no matter what is being claimed. She expressed anger over the article, but not over how I'm sitting. No noble would tolerate a commoner's crossing their legs in front of them. Some would even go as f so far as to break their legs. I thought that she would show some reaction, even if she was raised as a commoner. She is still noble by blood. Why is he looking at me like that? Do you remember when I had an audience with you, Your Majesty? What I want hasn't changed. Give me back my sister. I'm not to blame for your sister's disappearance. What do you want me to do about it? I never once made up something up. I write my articles with plenty of research. I'm not going to leave your majesty alone until my sister returns to me. Your majesty, his majesty is here to see you. Uh, yet another visitor. Uh. Cinnamon. Rushta, this article true? Did your majesty come here with your mind made up? Or do you actually wish to hear what I have to say? Are you even going to believe what I say? And what if I don't believe you? What are you going to do? Tell me the truth, or I can't take care of, of this for you. It doesn't have to be complicated. Take care of it. Are you going to cast me aside? If I lie? When you say this doesn't have to be complicated, what exactly are you going to do? I don't have time for your games, Russia. You might really make this go away if I tell the truth, even if it's only for the sake of the child. But... I don't want to become more of a nuisance. He's not my fa real father. She lied again. I see. But I feel sorry for her this time. 
She didn't choose her father, and it's not her fault his actions made her a slave. I know, that's why I tried to help her, but I also have to go to Willwool soon. What a headache. Regardless, that man needs to disappear for the sake of the Glorium's future. Deal with him discreetly. Once people lose interest. Okay. <sighs> One, the father. The father has a lot of nerve, okay? To come in and step foot in the palace where Rasha is and have demands. As if she owes her. I mean, she owes him everything that she accomplished now. And though she did not accomplish these things in like good taste, you know, like she did, she did this, she took someone's man. She's everything she have done is, has been very classless, you know? So yeah, but she honestly clawed herself up. And though I hate her as a person, Stepping back, if you just see her as like a, a mere status, which is a slave who really did claw her way up to be where she at right now, you'll be like, yeah. If you're like hit rock bottom, you're gonna, you're gonna, you would do the same. But she's not smart on how on maintaining that status of of being high up there. But the fact that the father's like, well. Thanks to my good looks being passed down to you, that's how you became an empress. Like, shut the heck up. Like, how entitled are you? He's such a narcissist. I don't know. So now I'm kind of curious on how are they going to eliminate White or take away this person, like this father. Because he seems like a nuisance. He's going to cause a lot of drama if they don't tape his mouth up. So it's getting, it's getting interesting. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm having trouble breathing and reading at the same time. Don't mind me, but all right. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.